Hey guys, welcome back to our video video. Today, we're gonna be working on the 350 again. And I'm gonna show you some little upgrades that I've done on it already. Um, I haven't been recording because when I wanna record to get the stuff that I needed, um, I was just being lazy and I forgot to pick up the camera. But, um, y'all wanna know about the green truck. I still haven't, have, I still haven't got it back. Um, I was supposed to get it back, but um, the day that I got it back, I was just like, fuck it, you know? I'm just, it's already there. I might as well just go and do what I've been wanting to do. And I told my cousin, just go for it. And so when it, you get, when it gets here, it should be a big surprise for me, hopefully, because um, I did tell him to make it as, as low as he could possibly get to it. And hope maybe it will be um, maxing out my step notch. So we'll see, we have to wait and see. But let me go show you what I just got and the things that I already put on the truck. Well, first off, I'm gonna show y'all how the front end looks looks so fucking good and as you can tell i did get and found some graps this week that just passed by i found some graps i put them on they are 37s you see i cut a little bit off that fender was already cut when i bought the truck but all this this is fucking amazing i like how it looks um i can fully lock my wheel so that's good these tires are 1350s they're like one inch wider than the other ones so i was kind of scared if i wasn't gonna be able to turn fully to lock in but yeah we can lock it in and then also we did just get another tip for the truck but that didn't really matter because i mean it just for looks because the other one was tiny it's up there as you can see it's up there tiny little tip i'll probably be throwing in another truck but here it is i still haven't unwired those up yet but i will end up wiring them up when i have time and here's what we got for today's video got a stabilizer kit for the truck um because the truck has these big ass tires now that the steering wheel goes like it shakes a tiny bit not a lot but i'd rather it um be um n not doing all that you know so yeah i'm gonna show you how to do this it's a little quick kit to do i saw on youtube so yeah let's just get straight into it so i'm gonna, sh so I'm gonna show you right now how it's supposed to go and you see those right there these holes are supposed to go in there and then right here one of these is supposed to go here and from there one of the shocks is supposed to go to the middle and the same thing on the other side and then both of them are going to connect to this plate in the middle but you have to make sure both of them are equally spaced out what the hell's over here what the hell's over here now look at my camera here and there and there and there and there and there look at him he be chilling here but yeah that's what i'm about to get into Okay, so I'll show you how I have this side. This side, I already had it set up. I still gotta take those nuts out. And on this side, where's the damn thing at? They come with um, nuts provided. So the only thing I do is just slide this in, put the other nuts in the bottom, so this side will be easier. But in the middle, it does come with these three little U-bolts. Um, I haven't tightened them up because I still gotta get the shocks in place and everything in place and then line them up so it can be centered. So yeah, that's what, I, uh, that's what I'm waiting right now to do. And then look, these, they come with these, so you have to put these right here. So yeah, let me get to that point. But first, I'm gonna put these on and get the sides in and the shocks put on. So then we can just do this at the end. Well, here it is. The piece is already out here. I haven't tightened this side or I haven't tightened this because you can see it's not tightened at all. But I have it over here so you can see how it's going to look. The shot will be held here and go all the way over here. I think like right here. I don't, I, forgot, I don't know how it goes. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. And also with the other side. But um, you see, I haven't tightened it up yet because I still have to make sure this side and that side are aligned and equally spaced out. But still having trouble taking it out. You see, I almost got one out, but that's why I just said, fuck, I'm going to just do this and that. And right now, I'm waiting for, I'm going to just, I guess, see if I can take it out. If I can't, well, I'm going to go get my bigger impact and take it out. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I got this side on. got the middle part on, still not tightened up. And I got that side. That side was a bit. I had to bring out the torch and the big tools to take it out. It did cost a minute to take it out, but once I put that torch out there, I heated up that boat, that motherfucker came off. But that was the easy part. Just putting the, uh, um, the shocks here, another one on there, and making sure they're both um, 
same um distance from each other well not same distance but in the middle where it's gonna expand make sure they're both sides both sides are equal i'm gonna show you in a minute how to do it but yeah i already got everything tightened up these are tightened these are tightened those are tightened those are tightened that's tightened like i said just wait to tighten those up so you can align those two there you go gordo again gordo okay so if you're following along i'm sorry but we were doing it wrong <laughs> because i put this point facing up and this pointing up and it's not supposed to do that because if you make go if you lift this up it's not going to be able to go up so you have to switch it back out and um, make it shoot back that way so you see now it's facing straight so yeah that was trying to show y'all that i ran into this problem so don't do it the wrong way if not you're not gonna be able to do like what i was doing i can't even i wasn't gonna i wasn't able to it was like probably like this i was like what the hell how am i supposed to even make it work but i was turning it around and i was perfectly good now i'm just gonna put the other one in tighten both shocks and then make sure it's aligned and then tighten these up and we'll be done okay so the last thing we gotta do lift up this from the middle so it can be aligned make sure they're separated the same it should be like four inches or three inches and a half but now that you can lift it up i'll use my jack because i couldn't lift it up it's hard as hell to push it up so one thing i gotta do now is tighten those back bolts those six back there and it should be done well guys finally got all those six nuts tightened got everything tightened but damn was it a hard ass job to get those six nuts in all the other ones were easy those took forever you see i'm all dirty right now there was no space on there you see i had to put my hands through these bars that the axle right there i finally got it it's sitting there let me show y'all tomorrow probably i'll watch the truck i'll let y'all see it again because i want i want to see how the wheels look when they're actually clean because you can see that he you don't even know that chrome look so tomorrow i'll wash it show y'all how it looks in the morning and the truck will be looking clean well here it is guys here's the truck in the daylight well half the daylight um y'all might say oh this still, they're not it's not clean it is clean i just washed the truck um the wheels are they do have a bit of gold in it so they might look like they have brake dust but they don't have brake dust but here it is with the grabs the stabilizer helps me a lot because instead of it used to be it used to be like this now it rides really smooth like i don't even have to have my hand my hand on the steering wheel but i still gotta get an alignment so we'll get the alignment whenever we can we'll have time and i mean i think it looks good so far like i said i might end up lifting the front up a little bit so it can be a little lean to it but you hear the noise back here i got jordan over here polishing my toolbox because we can't have a clean truck we have a raggedy toolbox <laughs> but yeah here it is and let me know what y'all think should i color match that like i said in previous videos and the side mirrors i think i'm also color match the door handles if i do anything and the back bumper but what y'all think let me know well guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that little stabilizer installation helped y'all a little bit if y'all needed to do the same thing i did but let me know what y'all think though and should i color match it and what else should I do to it? Like I said, it's not really gonna be a crazy build. And I'm not gonna put big wheels on it or anything. I just want it to look clean and simple. So yeah, if y'all got any ideas of what I should do to it, let me know in the comments. And I might, like I said, it's just gonna be a tow pig. Um, most likely the only reason I would use it is to go get wheels or maybe, just maybe, like I said, if we go to far away shows, might end up taking it and hauling my green truck. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Una silverado es la que me acompaña pa' todos lados.